I'm up at Melanda Falls Conservation Park because I've heard that it's a good place to see Lumholtz tree kangaroos. They mainly eat leaves, so I'm looking high up in the canopy for them. I've also seen footage of them hopping along the tracks in the park, so I'm looking on the forest floor too. There are a couple of walks you can do and that helps to improve your chance of seeing a tree kangaroo. Along these tracks I also saw and heard other interesting plants and animals. This is a catbird calling. Some half-eaten fruits. A bandicoot's been digging. A scrub turkey feather. That's his mound. And there's another scrub turkey. A black Jezebel butterfly. Elias Nagrina. This part of the walking track follows the creek. I saw some sawshell turtles. After two days of walking around the tracks, I still hadn't seen a Lumholtz tree kangaroo. It wasn't because I hadn't been trying though. It's a little bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. They're quite rare. I did see some more scrub wrens, an orange-footed scrub fowl, and its mound, black beans, black bean pod. These are the fruits of the bumpy satin ash and they grow out from the tree's trunk. The spectacle flying foxes like to eat these fruits and they play a really important role in the distribution of their seeds. A young gimpy gimpy bush and this is a slightly bigger one they grow to one to three meters they contain a neurotoxin and they're one of the world's most venomous plants and these ones were just growing beside the track blue kwandong fruits bracket fungi i still hadn't seen any tree kangaroos but i did manage to see a boyd forest dragon that yellow skin under its chin that it's displaying, that's called a dewlap. Their colours are cryptic, so they're really hard to see. There's a dragon on this tree trunk. See it jump to the ground? On the third day at Melanda Falls, I went again to have a look for Lumholtz tree kangaroo and finally saw one up in the canopy. So this is the Lumholtz tree kangaroo that I spent days looking for and was finally rewarded. The Lumholtz tree kangaroos are Australia's smallest tree kangaroo. They use their muscly forearms to help with climbing and they're able to grip very securely with the hind feet. Their tail is used for counterbalancing. Deforestation is the main threat to the Lumholtz tree kangaroo. They used to be found in the lowland rainforests, but not anymore.
They have a home range and every square meter of their habitat really now needs to be preserved and protected for them. They're such amazing creatures and it was such a privilege to be able to see them in the wild. Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.